Hey guys, Doterian here, back with another Raven's Watch run. Today we're going to be playing as... Let's see... Do I want to play Scarlet? Alright, we'll play Aladdin. Alright, so we're playing Aladdin on Nightmare 4. So if you see here, Nightmare 1 is Corrupted Enemies Can Appear. Obviously normal means just normal. Nightmare 1, Corruptors enemies can appear. <coughs> Nightmare 2 means you start with one less Raven Feather, which means we have one less life, essentially. <coughs> Nightmare 3, Master Nightmares is stronger. I think that means that the boss is stronger. And then Nightmare 4 means that we heal for less when we gather health globes. Just to recap what Aladdin is all about, <clears throat> basically Aladdin has a lamp, a genie lamp. And he can use, he can activate his lamp three times in the beginning to gain a special bonus. Uh, so you can see here it says, call the lamp for a wish, next ability grants power. Power basically just means that there's a lot of damage. The special means that you gain gold and you gain an object. And defense just means that you can uh, revive or heal your allies with a shield. Uh, typically, the way to abuse this is to just activate all three activations of the lamp and just get the gold and objects. Uh, this will give you a big power spike in the early levels of the game. So we're going to do that now. But the other thing to do is to check that we have a consumable that allows us to uh, gain a copy of an object that we already own. So this one allows us to abuse the fact that we can get objects. Uh, before I do that though, I'm gonna check what skill I get. I like using the power. So just to recap all of his skills. So that's his trait, okay? Then we have the normal regular attack. Every time you attack, um, every third hit that you do will do an AoE and then you can consume enchantment we'll talk about what enchantment is <clears throat> the next is his power which is uh, he has like a genie behind him and that will do a punch it kind of reminds me of like Jojo's uh, star platinum um, and then it does increase damage when you charge it up uh, the special which is the triangle that one will throw his blades and he will the blades will spin every time it hits an enemy it gains an enchantment and that will proc a double hit when you do a regular attack and then finally your defense which is the somersault that just allows you to quickly jump and become intangible which means you won't take any damage and enemies that you cross over will be vulnerable for three seconds just means that they will take a bit more damage when you hit them while they have the vulnerable status on all right, so I think I'm going to focus on the power. So Jin's Might basically just is a quest. Uh, you have to hit enemies at a maximum charge. Every time you do that, you gain uh, 0.5 damage uh, up to 20 times. So essentially your charge will gain 10 damage. And then when you finish it, uh, it's going to grant you bonus power um, by charging by 40%. So I really like this skill, so I'm going to choose that one. And then now I'm going to use the special for my trait to gain gold. And then I have an object. Usually what I do here is I just do all three of them. And you don't have to pick these up quite yet. You can see what they all are. So here I've got all three. I don't have to gain this bonus right now, okay? So here, um, this first object uh, is Ogre Blood. Ogre Blood gives you a lot of damage based on how much vitality you have, which is your life. Um, Green Dream Catch is just a generic uh, thing which basically allows you to buy cheaper items. And then the last one is just to gain more healing effect when, you, when you're healed. Um, usually I'll go for the damage. Uh, 
Okay, these are not that great. And then the last one. Okay, again, Ogre Blood or Special. Um, the Special is the Blades. I'm not really going to focus on the Blades. So I think I'm going to take Ogre Blood. And what I might do actually is I might buy a copy of Ogre Blood as well. So we have three copies of Ogre Blood. All right, so we get Ogre Blood. Okay, so you see here on the side, uh, there, we have Ogre Blood times three. Okay, so every t for every five vitality we get we get three damage, which is going to be really good because you can see on the map on the top, um, on the mini map. <laughs> At the top, there's a plus sign, which is the health. Um, that will allow us to gain 10 health, which means we'll get 6 damage. Uh, this one, I might take Dragonhide for bonus armor. As Aladdin doesn't have any real ways to heal apart from getting health globes. Um, so I might take Dragonhide. The, the other reason why I would take Dragonhide is because uh, Dragonhide, you'll notice, is blue, which is a rare. And so it's a slightly upgraded item as well. So it's like slightly stronger, I guess, than the other ones. Uh, so I might take that one. Easy work for a professional. Okay. And now looking at the minimap here, um, I could go up to the top. The other thing to note is I could go to the green chest on the minimap too. That will give us an item. And then the final one, which is the eye, that will give us uh, more vision of, of other stuff on the map so what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna go get the health that will give us a bit of damage then we'll go down to the, do the chest which will get us an item and they'll make us a bit stronger as well okay so I'm gonna explore all right so okay All right, what I actually might want to do as well is start charging up this quest. You can see my chest com quest, uh, quest completion is going to start. Um, throw out the blades. No, I didn't get the quest completion that time. That's all right. Uh, I really don't like these charging guys. Okay, and then quest. No. The good thing about this as well is uh, taking damage is not really um, too bad because once you get the health, uh, you, you heal to full anyway. Okay. <coughs> I might just wait five seconds to hit this guy. All right, let's go. That. Great. And then get the health. So we heal to full. And now you'll see on the... Um, where my stats are, that we have a bit more damage as well. Okay, get all of the gold, we'll move down. So I can see two chests there actually, which is really good. I think I might go get this guy, clear this, okay, and boom, the damage. Okay, I'm taking a lot of damage here. Throw out my blades, charge up, get the health globes. All right, we'll dodge that. Come back here, charge it up. Cool. And now I'll get the chest. All right, so Horn of Plenty is really good because we have, a, I think, with the amount of items that we're going to be, be getting, we're going to get a lot of vitality as well. Charge it up. Okay. And one thing that we really want to focus on is uh, not fighting these mobs, but uh, moving on to uh, different events as quickly as possible. And that will allow us to gain a lot of power very quickly. Because if you focus on trying to gain XP and kill these mobs, uh, you're not going to gain items and, and, and gain a lot of power that you need to as well. Alright. Oh. Alright, gain a level. Okay. Okay, this item. <clears throat> See what item we get. 
All right, we got Ogre Blood again. So I think we're going to pump out a lot of damage. All right, what's next? Okay. So you notice here, I'm, I'm just trying to um, do my power as soon as I can, just so I can charge it up and get um, it to full strength as soon as possible. That's why I'm, I'm just charging up from maximum distance as, uh, as often as possible. Okay, hit that guy, dodge that, throw out my blades, charge up. Okay, and then now we're gonna get the eye. The other thing I should do is get my upgrade. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna focus on power, so I'm gonna get this one as well. That, that one's really good. Um, and what we want as well is just to move on from events. So you can see on the uh, minimap that I'm focusing on um, just moving around. I'm not uh, trying to clear out all the enemies. I'm just trying to get uh, as many nodes as possible just so I can get more uh, XP and uh, more power as soon as I can. Alright, and then with this particular event, you can just run to the, to the gold here these crystals you can just smash these crystals and just move on to the next thing um, I actually might fight them and the reason why is because these guys okay oh crap all right so when they're in choke points like this those peas We are unstoppable together, my eye. Okay, I missed that one. That's fine. We'll just move on to the next thing. Now the reason why I fought there is just because uh, it's it's relatively easy to, to do that particular quest. Um, sorry, not quest, um, to, to just kill those guys in a choke point because those pigs actually explode during the daytime. So we want to fight them in the daytime. Um, I'm going to get this, get the gold here. <clears throat> Currently we're at 15 in terms of our... Uh, Alright, because we're focusing on power, we're going to King of Clubs card. And we will also go up and get the heal as well. Nice. It's a triple explode right there, get the heal. So you can see in the bottom left, I have uh, 55 vitality and 52 uh, damage. And that's comboing really well with my uh, items that give me all my vitality and, um, and damage. guy kill this guy and then we're gonna move on to what I might do is because I have a lot of gold I might go back and just upgrade some stuff <coughs> we are nearing our goal I can feel it uh, upgrade this and this and we'll get vitality as no what I might do is I might get these two that and that so my uh, upgrades are at epic right now. 
if I go to the tome uh, in the center, which is the green tome there, um, the green tome actually gives you two upgrades. So the two upgrades will be upgrading my upgrades to a legendary, uh, which will really help. Uh, there's nothing here, so I'm going to move on from there. Okay, just trying to go there as quick as possible. And get this gold. Okay, so you can also see I unlocked um, extra gold as well. Alright. Nope. Now, oh no, there's another enemy. It's okay. Cool. Alright, we unlock a level. I might get the level just before we do this because uh, that makes us a bit stronger. Uh, dash and attack speed. Yeah, I'll get that. Nothing can stop me now. Guy. Cool. Now we're gonna get the grimoire. See what I get. I'm gonna get two upgrades. Okay. I got a legendary there. Uh, now we're gonna move straight on to the gold. Down here. No, it's this way. Cool. And then we can just move on. Uh, I don't really want to fight those guys. Uh, keep moving down. Alright, there's some gold here. Alright, what else is there? There's another gold pile. So what I really want to get is more vitality, that will give us more health and thus more damage. I think the this eye event is really good, um, and obviously the health there is really good as well, so we're gonna kill these guys. Full heal. Uh, next, we're gonna go to the eye. Really need to kill these big trees first. So the good thing about the tree, killing the trees during the daytime as well is that the during the day the trees actually spawn. Uh, sorry, they don't spawn anything, but at nighttime they spawn um, like little uh, spiders, and the spiders are really annoying. Um, okay, there's a path up here. I think there might be something. No. Okay, that's just an extra gold. Uh, Alright, we'll move down. Ok, 
Okay, so there's some gold up there, so I think I'm gonna head up that way. I'm just going to take this gold and move on. Okay, we'll move on from there. I'm going to go up now. So there is a treasure chest there. Um, that treasure chest is red, which means it's like a hard one. Um, I don't want to engage that right now until I have a little bit more um, like power and stuff. Okay, is there anything up here? Okay, so there is an event there. Um, I don't like really like doing those ones because they take a lot of time and it just makes the boss a little bit stronger. I rather focus on um, getting more power early on. Um, Okay, ah, there we go. We found a health quest. So you can see the trees actually spawn spiders. Um, Spider. Cool. The other is just to see what upgrade. Okay, Jin's Fury is awesome. Move down here. All right, so we still we are running out of time. We we have like almost like a little bit less than one day. So I think I might. Uh... Oh, there's a key. Key. All right. I think we might teleport back to the shop and get some items. <coughs> Adventure awaits. Uh, I like getting crit chance and damage, so I think I might get damage, crit chance, and we'll upgrade. I think I like a bit more damage on that and then we'll move back to the tome Badra needs me I don't have time for this okay so we have one day uh, so I think my current plan would be to get this tome as quick as possible um, this chest, sorry. We'll get the chest. Dodge that. Okay. Dodge that. Okay. Dash. Get this item. Uh, special charge. Defense, I think defense extra charge is good. Um, and then what we might do is quickly run here. 
I'll try and get this elite event done because I have a key. Show me what you okay. Got, what upgrade we get double the amount of dream shards power has increased damage i'm getting that more power more better and i think i think we might head here i'm not sure why did i get the money from here ah oh, okay i didn't get the money all right cool so we'll quickly get the money All right, and then we'll run away. Nope. Okay, I think I might run and get some more upgrades. Uh, now we are running out of time. some more upgrades I think I might get this this one okay and then we'll see if we can get some of these I think I need the vitality so I'm gonna go down to here get the vitality see if we can get like 10 gold that would be good we are nearing our goal. I can feel it. Okay. Alright. Get that. Okay. Right. We are running out of time. Go to this section. I'm just gonna quickly try and go to these unexplored sections to see if we can get a, a bit of extra gold. Ah, there we go. Gold. All right, I'm gonna run <coughs> away, and uh, we'll just get the vitality, and that vitality will give us. Um, a, bit of extra damage so you can see here we have 95 um, vitality and 91 damage okay that's that Keep going We're running out of time all right so we have 40 seconds Cool, we got the vitality. So we got 40 gold. And quickly try and do some damage to get um, a bit more XP. Uh, we didn't get to unlock our ultimate, but that's okay because we are pretty damn strong. OK, 
Okay, dodge that. Dodge that. Dodge the lasers. Dodge that. Nope, we missed. Okay, dodge those. actually not worth it um, using the spinning blades because the spinning blades actually uh, don't deal that much damage and you can't attack uh, you can't attack when the spinning blades are out so it's actually detrimental for you to use the spinning blades uh, the other thing as well is we want to be using the defense, the, the vulnerability um, to cross over the enemies. So like this, that will make the boss vulnerable. Uh, hopefully I get my power back. Okay. Alright, I think one more encounter should be... Okay. Okay. All right, let's see what we unlocked. All right, so we, we did use two lives, two raven feathers. Um, uh, we, we did quite a lot of damage, I feel, but we did take a lot of damage as well. Um, I, I do definitely need to get better at the game. So we unlocked spinning strike, which is um, your spinning blades. Uh, after retrieving uh, the special blades, your next attack within two seconds spins two more times and deal 80% damage. So that's pretty good. And acrobatics, which is uh, when you use your defense, you gain three enchantment points as well. Uh, we did unlock some items too. Uh, so that's pretty good. So that was my run of Raven's Watch. If you enjoyed that video, please leave a like. And feel free to comment on other future games and videos that I could do. That would be really helpful to me. Have an awesome day and bye for now.